first question is, you know, you're one of the ambassadors. You're here at this festival a lot. Um, what are you looking forward to? What do you think is, is exciting and important about this festival? I just love how the festival has been expanding in the last couple of years. It's extraordinary the place that they kind of sit within the business now and how many people are attracted to, to come and have a fresh take on uh, uh, just a fresh glance at the business and, and sort of get to interact within the, the entertainment community on different terms. Um, and yeah, I just, man, I'm so, I'm so impressed with how these gals have um, built this into what it is right now. There's, some, there's so many exciting projects here, so many exciting people. What panels are you looking forward to this year? I, I'm trying to see which ones I can catch because I'm literally in tonight and out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I have a wedding to go to, so yeah, it's awesome. But I, I won't, I won't take it in. I won't really get to do much. So, yeah. Okay. Um, one of the questions that we're going to ask a few people um, this year is if you can remember one of your like an audition story that stands out to you as you know, like really great, really fun, really weird, most memorable audition story. Most memorable audition story. I mean, f my I did a, a television show called Friday Night Lights at a uh, small, little known show here in Austin. Uh, but the, uh, my audition, I was a, just a gigantic fan of Friday Night Lights. And then when I got an audition, I couldn't even believe that I had an audition for it and then I came in and my my callback was with Pete Berg and like he like you know is watching the audition and he like kind of comes up and starts making me improvise and kind of gets in my face and is like just super close to me and and um and he's like he's like you an athlete and I was like yeah yeah I did track blah blah, blah. and he's like he's like don't lie to me you an athlete and I was like yes <laughs> and then and then when I did the next callback Kitsch was in the room, Taylor Kitsch, and uh, so it was sort of like a little like surreal, you know, there's Tim Riggins right in front of you, big fan of the show, so that was a really exciting and fun experience. Again, lots of improv, lots of playing around, it was exciting. Awesome, um, and then I think last question is, what's a TV show, since we're here to celebrate TV and yeah. all different kinds, like what's a television show that you remember making an impact on you early on? Yeah. A television show that made an impact on me early on. Yeah, and going off of uh, television stuff, I mean, obviously early on, early on. Content, or now, any time, the first, like, just one that's made an I'll impact on you. Look, I've said it before, uh, and things are a little, you know, there's been some maybe unwanted attention there, but, uh, but Transparent was a really important show for my wife and I. It just opened our hearts in a whole new way, um, you know. You know, it's it's just, you know, I just, I just thought the performances were so brave. I thought it was so brilliantly written, and you, we would episode after episode, we would just be hugging each other, going, "I just want to love everyone." It, it's just so, you know. I think there's that was a big one. I, I think. Uh, let me see. I mean, that doesn't get much better than that, I think, in terms of, like, having a, a very personal impact. Also, I mean, come on. You, this is a hard-hitting questions, guys. i gotta give you a, I got to give you a good answer here. Um, i trying to think of when I was a kid what had a, a great impression. You know, let's see. I mean, I grew up watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Family Matters. And Full House and Saved by the Bell. Those were like the four after school every day in eighth grade. And I feel like I had moved here from Ireland and went into eighth grade, and then I started watching those shows. I think kind of helped me like assimilate, like to sort of know what was cool and know what was going on, and you know. So that was those are those have a sweet spot.